ja, Mann. This nymph belongs in the category of wiggle tail nymphs, nymphs that have great movement in the water, and Morton's variation has extra movement because of the wide marabou tail. This nymph is a small mayfly imitation, but in larger sizes the pattern imitates everything from large mayfly nymphs to damsels and dragons. The tail is tied separately on a needle. Place a small dab of UV glue on the tail and aim for a broad triangular profile. Hold the marabou fibers between your fingers as the glue hardens to achieve the triangular profile. An extra coat of glue adds durability. Tie in the tail three millimeters in front of the glue. Any shorter than this and the fly loses its mobility. Tie in a pheasant feather by the point. It will form the wing case later. Tear off some of the soft fibers from the marabou feather and use them for dubbing. That will help maintain the same color tone throughout the fly. Once again, the tungsten bead is hidden underneath the wing case.
Morton shows how easy it is to find nymphs in these mountain waters. Simply lift and turn a few rocks and look carefully. Here is a small stonefly nymph. Morton ties on his wiggle tail nymph, which is not a specific imitation, but a really good all-round fly in mountain waters. The tying technique gives the fly great action underwater. Nymphs and other small prey also swim freely in the water, making them easy prey for a trout or grayling. The water's relatively deep close to shore, and there's no need for Morton to wade. He's fishing a floating line with a five and a half meter long leader, allowing him to fish the heavy fly deep. The retrieve varies, but Morton usually uses short pulls to imitate the natural's behavior. The detached body and heavy head gives the nymph a jigging and attractive behavior in the water. Den er god, mand.